good morning all so in the last class we discussed about laptops then the tablet pc and also some other forms of personal computers so in this class we will be de uh, dealing with the mobile devices particularly about the pda which is the personal digital assistant so what is a mobile device a mobile device is also known as a cell phone device or handheld device handheld computer palm top or simply handheld device which is a pocket sized computing device typically having a display screen with a touch input or a miniature keyboard so this is the de definition uh, for the uh, mobile device and we all know familiar uh, we are all are familiar with these kinds of uh, mobile devices especially the sm kinds of uh, the smartphones so today we have to focus on the early forms of these kinds of uh, mobile devices which is particularly known as known by the name PDA which is the personal digital assistant so before that we want to just introduce this topic which is the mobile devices so these uh, kinds of mobile devices is also comes under the category the personal computers which comes under the types of computers so these uh, types of uh, especially these kinds of mobile devices helps to uh, run all the functions of the basic functions of the computer with the help of these kinds of uh, smartphones or the PDAs so it means that it is just a smaller version of the computer and also in the case of the personal digital assistant which is known as the PDA the input and output are combined into a touch screen interface so here we have the another combination of these kinds of uh, interface in which both input and output are combined to a, a common platform or co common interface which is called as the touch screen capability so we, uh, we all already studied the topic the tablet PC which is also a kind of mobile device so here we have the kinds of these uh, especially the uh, smartphones the PDAs and all other forms of these mobile devices which includes the palm top or the uh, other kinds of these devices so all these computers all these mobile devices means that it uh, the functions of the basic computers or the operating system all all the uh, activities we can do with the help of these kinds of mobile devices so uh, smartphones and the PDAs are popular amongst uh, those who require the assistance and convenience of a con conventional computer. In environments where carrying one would not be practical and also the enterprise digital assistant can further extend the available functionality for the business user by offering the integrated data capture devices like barcode, RFID and smart card readers. So all these uh, devices like the QR reader, the uh, kinds of these RFID readers or barcode readers. So all these uh, kinds of devices uh, are uh, also uh, comes along with these kinds of mobile devices and it offers a kind of this uh, integrated uh, kinds of these functions which includes both input and output uh, operations uh, simultaneously with the help Help of these kinds of mobile devices then these devices are called the handheld devices which includes these kinds of barcode scanner or these RFID and the smart card readers so these kinds of together we can call it as the hand, handheld devices because they are all uh, very small and also lightweight devices that can be used by holding in hand obviously their size weight and designs are such that they can be used comfortably by holding in hand and held PCs are also called palm tops because they can be kept on palm and operated so these kinds of devices also called as the kind of this palm top PC so we all know familiar with the term the palm top PC which means that we can use this kind of devices with the help of our uh, one hand or single handed so uh, it can be uh, basically we can see that uh, the handheld PCs are also called as this palm top uh, palm tops because they can be kept on on palm and also we can operate very easily so this is the basic introduction to these kinds of mobile devices next we have some kinds of applications and uses of these kinds of mobile devices so mobile devices have been designed for many applications and in, which includes the personal digital assistant or the uh, kinds of this enterprise digital assistant mobile computers which is also called as this kinds of pocket pc then the graphic uh, calculator graphing calculator 
then the handheld game consoles then the digital still camera which is known as DSC then the digital video camera DVC or digital cam recorder then the uh, kind of portable media player uh, an ebook reader then mobile phone and smartphones and also pager and also these kind of this personal navigation devices which is also a very important topic that we have to focus on so these are the major applications or the use of these kinds of mobile devices in which we only focus on uh, the basic functions of these kinds of devices which includes the personal digital assistant pda then the pocket pc which also called as these kinds of uh, computer and also the kinds of these mobile devices and we have some kinds of these uses of these pdas so these are the major topic that we are go going to focus on so firstly the first topic is the pda which is which means that the personal digital assistant so what is the pda the definition of pda goes like this a mobile device which functions as a personal information manager and connects to the internet so this is the definition of this pda which uh, I, I repeat again a mobile device which functions as a personal information manager and connects to the internet so this is the basic uh, definition of this uh, personal digital assistant uh, definition and we can add some points uh, to this definition which includes it is a mobile device which functions as a personal information manager and connects to the internet and also it is uh, called as a kind of palm top pc so palm top means we already discussed about the palm top pc so this kinds of personal digital assistant is also regarded as this kind of palm top pc and the pda has an electronic visual display enabling to it uh, include a web browser but some viewer uh, uh, some newer models also have audio capabilities enabling them to be used as the mobile phones and also some kinds of portable media players so this is uh, this uh, means that this is the first or the earliest form of this uh, mobile devices and pda which uh, the name suggests uh, like this personal digital assistant it was the kind of this assistance digitally by kind by the kind of this mobile device so uh, it also have the capability to uh, uh, surf the internet then they play the video and audio so these are the ma uh, basic uh, functions of this kind of uh, mobile uh, personal digital assistant which is a mobile device and the uh, visual display which uh, includes a web browser and also some kind of this audio capabilities video capabilities so this is the basic uh, dimension or the uh, form of this PDA then many PDAs has be uh, uh, was used as the mobile uh, phones or portable media players and also it can access the internet uh, intranet and also the extranet via Wi-Fi or uh, wireless wide area network which is called as WWAN wireless wide area network and also many PDS employ touch screen technology so these are the uh, basic information regarding PDA so it supports the kind of this internet connectivity which is also the kind of wireless internet connectivity which is the Wi-Fi or the uh, WWAN which is the wireless wide area network then the term pda was used uh, first used on january 7th 1992 by apple computer ceo john scully at the consumer electronics show uh, in las vegas nevada referring to the apple newton and also in 1996 nokia introduced the first mobile phone with the full pda functionality so these are the basic information regarding the uh, origin or the inventions of this kind of personal uh, digital assistant the term pda was used by uh, apple computer ceo john scully in 1992 uh, at the consumer electronics show and also the kind of this first form of this uh, mobile device which was uh, introduced by uh, nokia uh, in 1996 uh, they introduced the first uh, phone with uh, uh, full PDA functionality and also the commutator uh, which used the communicator which used in this uh, kind of mobile device which is uh, introduced by Nokia was 9000 uh, communicator and which has since grown to become the world's best-selling PDA and which spanned uh, a category of phones called the smartphone so from the uh, kind
end of this personal digital assistant there is another variety of devices introduced which is called as these smartphones so this is the basic information regarding the personal digital assistant a short history regarding the basic concepts of this personal digital assistant then Today, we, uh, the vast majority of all PDAs are smartphones and selling over 150 million units uh, while non-phone which are also called as a, a stand alone type of, type of phones, PDAs sell only 3 million units per year. So there is a kind of difference between these kind of uh, PDAs in which the uh, PDAs which are, uh, which are kind of this smartphone which is uh, selling over 150 million units and and while the non phone uh, which is also called as uh, which is not a kind of the smartphone only the functions of the PDA uh, it is only sell only about 3 million uh, units per year so this is the major difference between the normal PDA and the PDA with the, uh, the uh, functionality of a smartphone and the RIM Blackberry then the Apple iPhone and the Nokia NCEs and HTC are the kind of typical smartphones and also we have we, know, we all know that the uh, major other companies like smart, uh, Samsung, then the uh, kind of uh, Nokia and also uh, Microsoft, all these kinds of devices uh, also introduce these mobile devices later. So these are the major uh, introductory uh, kind of manufacturers who introduce this kind of PDA, which is also called as the, uh, which also uh, have the function of these smartphones, basic smartphones functions. So uh, these are the basic introduction to this PDA. Then currently a typical PDA has touch screen for entering data and a memory card slot for data storage and also at least one of the following for connectivity which means that the Bluetooth or the Wi-Fi connectivity and also we all know that uh, all know that the kind of this uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi both are comes together uh, in uh, today's uh, kind of the smartphones and however many uh, a touch screen using the kind of soft keys and directional pad and either the numeric keypad or a thumb keypad for input so there is a kind of varieties in which the smartphones have in which uh, some uh, uh, kind of smartphones which uh, also includes the kind of number pad keypad and the uh, most commonly used kind of the smartphones uh, does not have this kind of dedicated keypad uh, key, uh, keypad and only the uh, kind of this touch screen uh, facility so the pdas are used used to uh, store information that can be accessed at any time and anywhere and PDA are a particular use in the following cases. So the PDA, the kind of this personal digital assistant can uh, carry the store uh, to uh, data, uh, it can store the data and also we can enter the data, uh, we can uh, input the uh, data into this uh, PDA and also we can connect the internet. So these are the basic three functions of the uh, PDA in which we can use these uh, PDAs to store the data and enter the data to give the input and also we can uh, connect the uh, PDAs with the help of this kind of internet uh, connectivity uh, either by Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. So these are the basic uh, uses or the functions of this PDA. So we have the basic uh, uses we, uh, of PDA which is categorized into five category. So uh, the basic uses of these PDAs are uh, automobile navigation, then the medical and scientific use, then educational use, sporting use and for the people with the disabilities. So these are the basic uh, uses of this personal digital assistant. So firstly the uh, automobile navigation. So we all know that the automobile navigation which is uh, comes uh, nowadays it is very popular in every kind of this automobile device uh, cars or the um, uh, also some kind of this uh, bikes and also uh, other uh, vehicles. So the automobile navigation means we can get the navigation or the route map to uh, travel through with the help of these kind of mobile devices. So uh, uh, another kind of this name which uh, uh, for this kind of automobile navigation is that the uh, GPS with the help of this GPS and also the uh, uh, kind of this category which is the automobile navigation uh, works with the help of this GPA and also some kind of internet access also available for this kind of uh, 
automobile navigation and many PDAs are used in car kits and are fitted with different differential global pos uh, positioning system which is also known as the GPS re uh, receivers to provide real-time automobile navigation and PDAs are increasingly being fitted as standard on now ca uh, new cars and also many systems can also display traffic conditions dynamic routing and roadside no mobile radar guns so uh, these kind of uh, PDAs which is uh, which uh, comes uh, in this kind of mob uh, automobile uh, vehicles which means that it also the capability to the touch screen capability and also we can connect the uh, the uh, automobile navigation to our phone with the help of some apps and uh, the internet connectivity or the Bluetooth connectivity some of uh, the uh, commonly used kind of this app is the uh, Google Android Auto so this is the uh, uh, app introduced by Google in order to connect our phone to the navigation system so thus we can control the navigation with the help of our phone itself so this is the basic information regarding the use of PDA the first use of PDA which is automobile navigation secondly we have the medical and scientific use so basically the in medicine and PDA the PDAs are have been shown to aid the diagnosis and drug selection and some studies have concluded that their uh, use by patients to record the symptoms improves the effectiveness and also the uh, effectiveness of the communication with the hospitals during the following up so the PDA also helps to record the data uh, especially the medical and uh, the scientific data and also it helps to uh, give a kind of uh, assistance effective assistance uh, especially the effectiveness of this kind of communication with the hospitals during this following up and also a range of resources have been developed to cater for the demand from the medical profession with uh, which supply the drug databases treatment information and also the relevant news in format specific to the mobile devices and also the services such as the Avango translate medical journals into readable format and also also provides the updates from journals so basically the medical use which includes the journals the kind of medical journals the news the updated uh, information regarding the medical and scientific uh, field so the all this kind of information can be passed over to this kind of PDAs so this is the second uh, use of the PDAs thirdly we have the educational use so we all know familiar with this kind of educa edu educational use especially this particular situation so the educational use of PDA uh, which means that the educational use of these kind of mobile devices which means uh, the PDAs and handheld devices are commonly allowed in the classroom for the digital note taking so uh, this means that this is not the kind of the smartphones this is only a kind of the uh, slate that we have discussed earlier which comes under the topic tablet PC so with the help of these slates or this kind of con convertibles we can record the notes in the uh, slate or the tablet PC and this is the digital form of uh, recording the notes so this is the one of the uh, commonly common use of this educational uh, use of this PDAs then students can spell check modify and amend their class notes or e notes and also some educators distribute the course material through the use of the internet connectivity or the infrared for sharing functions of the PDA so this is also very common now in which we can share the notes uh, the PPTs the PDFs and also the kind of the all the information regarding the education sector with the help of this kind of mobile devices and especially we have the kind of the uh, uh, specific apps for sharing this kind of uh, information so this is the another important uh, function of the uh, educational use and also this uh, function which also includes the kind of the e-notes or the e-book reading so this also comes under the educational use of PDAs and also the textbook publishers have begun to release the e-books and also or electronic textbook which 
can be uploaded directly to a PDA, reducing the number of textbook students much carry. And also, software companies have developed programs to meet the instrumental uh, instructional needs of uh, educational institutions, uh, such as the dictionaries, uh, the uh, word processing softwares, encyclopedias, and also the digital planning lessons. So these are the basic uh, applications uh, which uh, of this uh, educational uh, in the educational field uh, in which the PDAs commonly offer. So the PDA, not only the PDA, the upgraded form of this PDA, which is the smartphones, it also offers all these kind of functions of these uh, PDAs in which we can share the notes, we can access the class, online classes uh, with the help of this uh, kind of platform, YouTube platform or the Google Meet, all other platforms and also we can uh, read the textbook uh, or the ebooks with the help of these devices. So this is the basic use of one of the major use of these PDAs or the smartphones right now. Then the uh, fourth point regarding the use of this personal digital assistant is that the sporting use. So this term, the sporting use, uh, is not only mean that it uh, can be used for the uh, activities of sports. It also means that we can listen to the music and also we can use these kind of uh, PDS to entertain the others and also we can uh, also use this kind of uh, PDS or the smartphone to run the games and also uh, to watch videos etc. So these are the uh, an another, another uh, dimension of this uh, PDS in which we already discussed the automobile navigation which is a important use of this PDA. Then we discussed about the medical and scientific use and also the thirdly the educational use and now we have the sport, sporting use. So what do we mean by the sporting use? So it, it includes the all kind of this entertainment sections which especially in the textbook it is only pointed out on the kind of this music uh, uh, music the, to play with the music and also the media files and also it means that uh, it can be used to uh, use the uh, kind of this the physical exercise unlike the certain larger devices such as laptops so it also we can uh, use this kind of mobile devices in order to get a clear idea regarding the physical exercise with the help of the another uh, device which also uh, comes under this kind of mobile device which is the smart watches so the smart watches uh, in which we can connect the smart watches with the help of these uh, smartphones uh, the uh, the connection was uh, uh, which is uh, which we can connect the uh, smartphones so the, the smartphone with this smartwatch is the Bluetooth connection and we can uh, get a clear idea regarding our physical exercises activities such as the heart rates and the uh, our uh, navi uh, our uh, step counting and also the kind of this uh, phone and uh, other facilities with the help of the smart devices so these are the another important feature of this uh, PDS uh, and also the uh, Another PDA software can be used for calculating distance, speed, time and GPS navigation as well as the unassisted navigation. So all this comes under this sporting uses. So I just uh, repeat the use of this sporting use of the PDA in which we can listen to music and also uh, watch the uh, videos and also play the games. And another function of this PDA is that we can uh, use this kind of PDAs or the smart device as the smartphones to uh, get a clear uh, physical uh, idea or clear report of our physical exercise which includes the uh, calculating the distance or the our step counting measures then the heart beats heart rates and all other functions of the common uh, activities of a, a human being so we can trace all these activities with the help of these smartphones so this is another important feature of this PDS lastly we have uh, the first, uh, fifth point of this uh, use of this PDA personal digital assistant which is the uh, use uh, we can use this PDA for the uh, people with the disabilities in order to help them uh, with a, uh, a clear uh, digital assistant as or uh, as a clear idea to get a clear uh, function of their details regarding the uh, the 
medical uh, report and all other accessibilities all the all these things we can assess with the help of these pdas so pdas offer varying degrees of accessibility for people with offering the able uh, the, uh, the uh, different uh, different abilities or differently able persons based on the particular device and service people with vision hearing mobility and speech environments uh, may be able to use the pda on a limited basis and also at this may be enhanced by the addition of the accessibility software it, uh, it also means that we can use the kind of pdas or a smartphone to uh, enable to uh, get a assistance uh, for the kind of this uh, uh, medical assistance for these kind of people so these are the uh, basic use of this pdas so uh, we discussed the uh, uh, five major uses of this PDA from page number 30 to 31. So basically the automobile navigation, then the medical and scientific use, educational use, sporting use and also the uh, PDAs for the people with the disabilities. So these are the major uses or the features of PDA in which we can uh, use these PDAs or the, uh, the newer model of the PDA which is the uh, smartphones or the smart devices in a very systematic and very uh, uh, effective manner. Thank you. So that's regarding PDA, which is the personal digital assistant. Now we have the second topic, which comes under the mobile devices, which is the pocket PC. So what do we mean by the term pocket PC? So a pocket PC is a hardware specification for a handheld sized computer which is also known as the personal digital assistant we discussed uh, right now and also that runs the Microsoft Windows mobile operating system and also it may have the capability to run an alternative operating system like uh, NetBSD uh, or Linux and it has many of the capabilities of modern desktop PC. So basically the pocket PC means it can function all the functions the all the basic uh, commonly uh, used functions of a computer uh, or, or especially the personal computer with the help of this pocket PC so the software or the operating system which runs in in this kind of pocket PC is the Microsoft Windows mobile operating system so it is a typical operating system which is not a kind of operating system which uh, in the device or the laptops so it is uh, it means that it can run uh, it can perform the uh, functions with the uh, uh, touch screen capability so uh, this is the basic difference between the common uh, commonly used uh, operating system the windows operating system and the windows mobile operating system so uh, the definition of this pocket pc which is very important a pocket pc is a hardware specification for a handheld sized computer uh, which means the PDA that runs the Microsoft Windows mobile operating system. So basically the smartphones either uh, runs with the uh, OS which is the commonly used the OS which is the Android OS or the Apple uh, Mac OS. So iOS or the Android OS both are the uh, OS which operating system which is uh, developed exclusively for the smartphones. So here we have another kind of this operating system by Windows which is the windows mobile operating system which is used in this pocket pc and uh, it also uh, has the capability uh, have the capability to run an alternative operating system which means that we can run the uh, two operating system in a computer uh, it all it may be a windows operating system and a linux operating system and uh, or uh, and, uh, other similar kind of this operating system so this is also another advantage of this pocket pc and it has many of the capabilities of the modern desktop pc so most of these functions we can run with the help of this uh, pocket pc so uh, that uh, the title suggests which is the pocket pc which means that the pocket personal computer so it, it can be used as a kind of this personal computer and it, it, provi it provides the all the basic needs of a personal computer so uh, this is the uh, regarding the introduction to this topic which is the pocket pc then currently there are uh, 
there are tens of thou thousands of application for this kind of handheld uh, adhering to the Microsoft Pocket PC specification and many of which are freeware. For example, the Microsoft enables uh, uh, supported device uh, which uh, includes um, uh, for example the uh, kind of Lumia uh, device which is uh, introduced by Microsoft. Uh, it, provide, it runs in the uh, kind of this Microsoft uh, uh, mobile operating system and we can get a kind bunch of softwares which includes the uh, especially the Microsoft Office uh, then the Skype and also some other kind of this uh, application in this uh, uh, Lumia devices so it is just an example for this pocket PC and uh, there are thousands of application for this kind of this Microsoft pocket PC specification uh, like this kind of uh, Play Store or the App Store in the uh, uh, Apple iPhone or the uh, normal Android uh, OS devices. So this is regarding the uh, software uh, basics of this pocket PC and most of these softwares are freeware and some of these devices also include the mobile phone features which means that we can call, we can test messages and we can also record the uh, photos, uh, videos, uh, all the kind of these uh, features of this uh, a normal smartphone device and Microsoft combined pocket uh, the uh, Microsoft co uh, Combined uh, Pocket PCs can als also be used with the many other add-ons like the GPS receivers, barcode readers, RFID readers and the uh, cameras and also such other kind uh, connectivity. So it, it means that it can also run all the functions of a mobile device and basically it is a, uh, a personal computer, a pocket PC which means that it is a personal computer. So it is also an, uh, another advantage of this kind of pocket PC. Then uh, in 2007 with the release of Windows Mobile 6, it is a model, uh, Microsoft dropped the name of pocket PC in favor of a new naming scheme and devices with an integrated phone are called Windows Mobile Classic instead of Pocket PC. So the company which is the Microsoft company introduced a kind of uh, new device which is also uh, known as the uh, kind of Pocket PC, the Windows Mobile Classic. So it is the uh, it is uh, another name of this Pocket PC which was introduced in 2007 by Windows Mobile Sys which is uh, introduced by Microsoft and uh, it means that uh, the devices without an integrated phone are called the Windows Mobile Classic instead of a pocket PC. So this is the basic uh, change uh, in this kind of Windows Mobile Classic in which the devices without an integrated phone uh, which are called as the Windows Mobile Classic. Then devices with an integrated phone and a touch screen are called Windows Mobile Professional. So we have two category which is uh, introduced by Microsoft in which the devices which uh, do not have this kind of this integrated phone facility uh, they are called as the Windows Mobile Classic instead of this pocket PC and also the devices with an integrated phone and also the touch screen capability they are called as the Windows Mobile Professional. So just a uh, change in the term in which the classic into the professional which means that it has the, uh, as, uh, the uh, category the variety of this mo Windows Mobile Professional which means that it, uh, it gives all the functions of a mobile device and also it uh, provides the function functions of a personal computer. So these are the basic uh, information regarding the pocket PC uh, which is the last kind of this mobile device uh, that we uh, we should study uh, for this uh, paper. So uh, we discussed the PDAs and pocket PC which is uh, regarded as the mobile devices and they are used as their features their uh, kind of their some uh, history regarding all these devices. So basically Basically, these are the major mobile devices that uh, we should focus on. So today we discussed about the topic mobile devices which is a kind of types of computer uh, comes under the topic types of computer. So the mobile devices means basically we focused on the two topics which is uh, in the syllabus which is the uh, mobile device uh, the basic introduction to the mobile device then the personal digital assistant which is very important topic uh, which is the early form of this uh, all the kind of smartphones then the uh, lastly we discussed, discussed about the 
pocket PC. So these are the basics of these mobile devices that we should focus on. So firstly we discussed about the mobile device, the introduction to the mobile device and it is also called as a cell phone device or the handheld device, handheld computer, palm top. So all these uh, kind, kinds of names which uh, also regarded as the mobile device and uh, they have the uh, pocket sized compute devices typically having a display screen with a touch input or a miniature keyboard. So the basic uh, change in the, the kind of this mobile device is that we can give the uh, or the input the data and also we get the output data in the same interface which is the uh, touch screen interface for this kind of mobile devices. So it is very important in which we can uh, we get uh, we do not uh, uh, need a kind of a keyboard or a mouse to uh, enter the data we can use the kind of touch screen in order to enter the data and also we get the output as soon as possible. So this is the basics of this mobile devices the basic change of this uh, mobile devices why we discussed uh, uh, the uh, other kind of uh, devices which includes the tablet PC and the, some of the tablet PC also comes under the mobile devices uh, all, and all the other kind of these uh, PCs, laptop PC, the uh, uh, normal desktop PC, all this kind of PC which means that it, uh, the only we get a output uh, in the screen in which we should uh, give the uh, input with the help of the another device uh, for example the keyboard or a mouse. So here we have all the functions in a, uh, in a common interface which is the touch screen interface. So this is the basic point that should we should focus on the while we focusing on this kind of mobile devices. Then the first topic that we focused on was the PDAs. So PDA means the personal digital assistant and before that we just go through the basic applications the use of these mobile devices which includes the personal digital assistant or the enterprise digital assistant, then the mobile computers which are also known as the pocket PC, then the graphing calculator, then the handheld game uh, consoles and digital still camera DSC, then the digital video camera DVC or the digital cam recorder, then the portable media player ebook reader, mobile phone and smartphones pager and also the personal navigation devices. So all these kinds of these divisions or varieties uh, are all these kind of varieties comes under the mobile device. So uh, then we discussed about the personal digital assistant. So the definition for the personal digital assistant is that a mobile device which functions as a personal information manager and connects to the internet. And, all, and also this kind of personal digital assistant uh, also called as the palm top computer. So these are the basic inf uh, information regarding the PDA and also we discussed the basic three functions of this PDAs which includes we can uh, get a uh, uh, we have a uh, electronic visual display and uh, which enables to uh, surf the internet and also to function the media uh, files and uh, so the media capability and the touch screen and also the second point was regarding the uh, the uh, functionality of this kind of audio capabilities especially the recording capabilities and all other functions of a, a common uh, uh, media uh, uh, use and also lastly we discussed about the basic use of this uh, wireless connectivity uh, which supports the Wi-Fi and also wi wireless wide area network WWAN so this is the uh, basic uh, connectivity uh, in which we can connect the internet with the help uh, in the kind of this personal digital assistant. So these are the basic information regarding the personal digital assistant. Then we discussed about the major uses of this PDAs which includes the automobile navigation, medical and scientific use, then the educational use, sporting use and also uh, it can be used for the people with the disabilities as, as an assistant. So these are the basic uses of this PDAs. So this is very important. Then we discussed about the pocket PC. And this pocket PC uh, is a kind of handheld sized computer uh, that runs the Microsoft Windows operating system and also the capability to run the uh, alternative operating system and also it have the uh, some of the basic functions of a mobile devices too. So in 2007 with the introduction of this mobile seats, um, mobile seats by Microsoft they introduced a kind of um, two varieties of this uh, pocket PC which means that the uh, 
kind of two varieties the windows mobile classic and Mo windows mobile professional which uh, denotes the uh, windows mobile classic means uh, it is without an integrated phone features and also uh, the professional means the windows mobile professional means it uh, it have the, all the functions of this phone uh, capability or the, all the functions of a mobile device so this is regarding the pocket pc so today we discussed about uh, basically the two major topics uh, which comes under the mobile devices so uh, in the uh, late, uh, in the earlier classes we discussed about the uh, tablet pc laptop pc the netbook pc and also the uh, features and uh, uses of this kind of uh, computers so we have uh, completed the first two category of these uh, divisions of these uh, types of computers the first one was the personal computer second one was the uh, kind of uh, mobile mobile device uh, it is a subtopic which also comes under the personal computer now we have two more topic which includes the uh, mainframe computer and also the super computers so we discuss these topics in the next class so that's for today thank you happy learning